5.1 The Parts of an Air Brake System There are many parts to an air brake system. You should know about the parts discussed here. 5.1.1 The Air Compressor The air compressor pumps air into the air storage tanks, reservoirs. The air compressor is connected to the engine through gears or a V-belt. The compressor may be air-cooled or may be cooled by the engine cooling system. It may have its own oil supply or be lubricated by engine oil. If the compressor has its own oil supply, check the oil level before driving. 5.1.2 Air Compressor Governor the governor controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. When air tank pressure rises to the cutoff level, around 125 pounds per square inch or PSI, the governor stops the compressor from pumping air. When the tank pressure falls to the cut-in pressure, around 100 PSI, the governor allows the compressor to start pumping again. 5.1.3 Air Storage Tanks Air storage tanks are used to hold compressed air. The number and size of air tanks varies among vehicles. The tanks will hold enough air to allow the brakes to be used several times, even if the compressor stops working. 5.1.4 Air tank drains. Compressed air usually has some water and some compressor oil in it, which is bad for the air brake system. For example, the water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The water and oil tend to collect in the bottom of the air tank. Be sure that you drain the air tanks completely. Each air tank is equipped with a drain valve in the bottom. There are two types manually operated by turning a quarter turn or by pulling a cable. You must drain the tanks yourself at the end of each day of driving. See figure 5.1. Automatic. The water and oil are automatically expelled. These tanks may be equipped for manual draining as well. Automatic air tanks are available with electric heating devices. These prevent freezing of the automatic drain in cold weather. Figure 5.1 Manual Draining Valve And we see here, this is the air tank. This would apparently be inlet. This would be probably be the inlet valve here for the air to go in. And this would be the outlet um, port for the air to leave. And on the bottom, we have the manual draining valve, which is a, a fitting that fits here. 5.1.5 Alcohol Evaporator Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator to put alcohol into the air system. This helps to reduce the risk of ice in air brake valves, and other parts during cold weather. Ice inside the system can make the brakes stop working. Check the alcohol container and fill it up as necessary. Every day during cold weather, daily air tank drainage is still needed to get rid of water and oil, unless the system has automatic drain valves. 5.1.6 Safety Valve A safety relief valve is installed in the first tank the air compressor pumps air to. The safety valve protects the tank and the rest of the system from too much pressure. The valve is usually set to open at 150 PSI. If the safety valve releases air, something is wrong. Have the fault fixed by a mechanic. 5.1.7 the brake pedal. You put on the brakes by pushing down on the brake pedal. It is also called the foot valve or treadle valve. 
Pushing the pedal down harder applies more air pressure. Letting up on the brake pedal reduces the air pressure and releases the brakes. Releasing the brakes lets some compressed air go out of the system, so the air pressure in the tanks is reduced. It must be made up by the air compressor. Pressing and releasing the pedal unnecessarily can let air out faster than the compressor can replace it. If the pressure gets too low, the brakes won't work. Thank you.